My love's greedy dad separated us for 45 years. Annie's dad doused me when I asked for her hand, yelling his daughter would never marry a beggar. Mr. Reed fired me, calling me a farm boy. Annie begged me to get her. I jumped the fence. Her dad came at me, threatening to call the cops. He took the ring I bought Annie. I wasn't allowed near the house. I'd be deported. I got in Annie's window. Mr. Reed was there. I ran. Annie gave me a cutting. I grew flowers from it. I opened a shop, got rich, and asked her hand again. Mr. Reed agreed in exchange for a partnership. But that day, he changed the shop's locks. He faked buyout papers for my part of the business. He wiped his feet on my jacket and threw it out. He said clothes won't hide a beggar. Mr. Reed offered a cleaner job. I refused, and he sent Annie cross state to study. I waited a year. One day, I heard Annie was back. But Mr. Reed said she was getting married. I didn't believe it until I saw her veil. I ran to her. Mr. Reed stopped me. She was happy. I loved her, but gave up. I was a park gardener. 45 years later, my garden was known nationwide. One day, I saw Annie there. I ran to her. Look, 45,000 flowers for you. I grew 1,000 for every year without her. Annie shocked me. She'd never see my flowers. The stress of a loveless marriage made her go blind. She asked to smell them when someone knocked them out. It was Mr. Reed. He silently handed me the box. I opened it and couldn't believe what I saw. The ring I bought for Annie 45 years ago. Mr. Reed begged forgiveness for ruining our lives. He made her marry a man who left her in illness. I got down on one knee and my beloved said yes. Now we're together and finally happy. And Old Man Reed waters our 45,000 flowers. How long are you willing to wait for love? <laughs>